Hello everyone, my name is Chan J. Vavarunsky, and I'm an Applications Engineer for GoEngineer. And today I want to show you how you can access SN curves for those of you who are running fatigue studies within SOLIDWORKS. And in a previous video, when we showed you how to set up the fatigue study, um, we had talked about how there are several different materials that SOLIDWORKS provides with an SN curve. And you're probably wondering where is that information located? You know, how do you know which material has SN curves built into it? Which ones don't? Well, if you come over to the material folder here in SOLIDWORKS and right click, what you'll notice is that when you're looking at your materials here, if you ever see SN in parentheses, that means that there's an associated SN curve with that material and you'll actually be able to load that up with inside of your fatigue study. When you're filtering through and looking through all of these different material folders that SOLIDWORKS has provided though, you'll notice that there's about four materials that have it defined. I've actually copied them and put them in a favorites folder so I can access them to showcase to you. And we can see that we get two types of iron, a ductile iron, a gray cast iron, and then an aluminum 2024 and an, and an aluminum 7075. Now that might not seem like a lot. Um, and for those of you running fatigue studies, you know that for these types of curves, you're generating this type of data a lot on your own or you're contacting the manufacturer. Well, I wanna showcase to you another location that you can actually access more fatigue curves or SN curves than just here with inside of the material folders on the modeling side. So if I come over and start a fatigue study, uh, to do this, I'm just gonna, again, create a new study, choose fatigue. In order to apply and access more materials, um, I do have to create a loading event so once I have that defined, I can come in here and I can override information for this uh, material on my study. And when I right click and apply fatigue data, I'll see that here, because I did a study off of a titanium, I'm not able to see any type of data since there's, it's based off of an SS, so a stress strain curve. But notice over here to the right, there's this little file button. If you were to click on that file button, you'll see that you get an extended library. And we can see that all of these different materials have different uh, fatigue and number of cycles associated for us to test with. So when you're testing for fatigue, see if one of your materials is listed here in this function curves option to see if SOLIDWORKS has provided that data. If not, you'll have to go and test the data yourself and extrapolate the information, or you can contact your manufacturer to get this data as well. This has been Chandra by Fabrinsky, and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to access more SN curves for your fatigue studies. Mm -hmm.